Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today I am going to be answering a question which is not in the Rust answers forum but which I I had just I, yesterday I was doing class in a university and I had uh, this question. The students made me this question a couple of times, so I decided that I'm going to do a video about it because I think it's interesting to to know it and to have it here. And it's basically how you can publish only one time one message into a topic. Yes, so publish only once into a topic. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots, no installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. Now, yes, let's start with the video. So, as I've said, let me close this. I'm going to I'm going to be showing how to publish only one time into a topic. So let's use this project that I have created, the poop once. Let's open it and wait a few seconds until the whole environment loads. Great, so here we have it. Then, yeah, let's open as always a shell, also an IDE. And for this example, I'm going to be using the Tartabot simulation, for instance, which is the most common one. So let's open as well here the Tartabot simulation. And let's start creating a package. So I'm going to create a package here which I'm going to call, I don't know, poop once. I'm going to add Rustpy as a dependency. So now I'll have my package here. Yeah, here I have it, excellent. And let's create as well a Python file. There we go which I'm going to call poop once as well. Excellent, so we have our simulation running. So what we are going to do is to publish into the command belt topic so that we can control our robot, the movement of our robot. Then the normal way, the, re the regular way, let's say, that you would think to do it, it's, uh, let's create here our code. So, We set up the Python environment, let's import Rospy, let's import as well the twist message from the geometry messages package. Then we start a node, which I'm going to call group once node, there we are. Then let's create our publisher, rospy.publisher, which I'm going to publish to the command belt topic, twist messages, great, so let's initialize as well a twist message, and let's set up, let's say, the angular z, to 0 0.5, so that our robot will rotate on its axis. Uh, great, so we have our node, we have defined our publisher, the twist message. So now we could publish our message, our twist message, which is defined here, only one time. Yes? So with this code, 
we define, we create our publisher, we define our message, we set an angular z velocity of 0 0.5 and then we publish our message, yes? So let's try our code and see what happens. First of all, let's set up execution permissions for our Python file. There we are. So now let's do our ROS run of our code. And let's have a look here. So nothing happens. Yeah. So let's see this again. We execute our code. Let's put, actually, let's put here a, a log or a print in this case. Print message publish it. Closing program. Okay, so after we publish the message, we are going to add here a print which says message published, closing program. So that we see that the program actually has passed through here. So yeah, let's execute again and see what goes on. So yeah, as you can see, message published, closing program. So currently the program is going all the way through all the lines, but the robot is not moving at all. So what is happening here? Okay, basically what is happening is that the, the publisher, when we create the publisher, it does not have time. So the code goes that fast that the publisher does not have time to set up the connections and everything so that you can publish, yes? And this, uh, lots of times, causes problems when publishing the first message, even, even if we added here a rate and a loop which keeps publishing, sometimes the first message is lost because of this. Because the connections of the publisher are not set up yet. Yes? Then what can we do here? Okay, so one thing that we can do is to check these connections. So let's do a couple of modifications here. I'm going to add a while loop. I'm going to add here, first of all, a rate. Rows by rate of 1 hertz. And I'm going to define a variable, which I'm going to call control C. And I'm going to set it to false, which basically will indicate uh, if finish uh, to finish the program or not yes then let's move here now the line to check the connections is the following poop dot get num connections yes this is the function the get underscore num underscore connections this will get us, get us the number of connections, yes? So now we can check this variable where we have stored this value, this connections variable. If connections is bigger than zero, so if we do actually have connections, we can then publish our twist message, yes? Because the connections will be ready. Here, when I call this function, if the connections are not ready, I will receive a 0. If the connections are ready, in this case, I will receive a 1. Yes? Then, if connections are higher than 1, I publish the message and I, and I print also here my, my string. Yes? Else, if the connections are 0, then what I'm going to do is to sleep, basically, and start over this loop. Yes, so since this control C variable is false, this loop will go on until this variable changes. Then I'm going to change this variable when I publish. So here, after I publish, I'm going to set my control C to true so that I will escape this while and I will end my program. 
yes? Then if the number of connections here is higher than zero, I will publish my twist message, I will set my variable to true to escape from this loop and I will print my message here. Else, if the, if the connections is uh, zero, then I will basically here sleep and start over again the loop until this function returns a number of connections higher than zero. Yes? So this way I'm making sure that when I publish my one message, which is here, the connections of the, of the publisher will make ready so the message won't get lost, yes? And anyways, I am publishing the message only once as well because after publishing my message, I'm setting this variable to true so I will not enter again this while loop, yeah? I will end my program. So let's try out this code. Let's test it and see what happens now. Okay, I have here an error in the code. Oh yeah, I'm missing here the two points after the else, as you can see. So let's save this and execute again the program. Mm, okay, another error in the rate. Yeah, here. Rospy, not Rusoip. <sighs> I don't know what I was thinking when I typed that. Okay, let's try again. Okay, and there we have it. So now my robot does move in the angular velocity, yes? So again, I have published my message once, the program has ended, but now the message does get published. That's why you now can see the robot moving. Yes? So, yeah, basically that was all for the video of today. I hope you have liked it, you have learned something new. And if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. And either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comment area. Goodbye and see you in the next video.